Hey YouTube, it is a beautiful Saturday evening, just has been a gorgeous day, uh, we did some potting and so forth, went to a nursery and we're going to do some landscaping, have a designer come out and do some landscaping, but uh, I'm getting ready for a buffalo shoot, that's a single cartridge, black powder, single shot, uh, steel target rifle match and it's using my reproduction 1873 sharps buffalo rifle so this is the reason I have the reloading bench over there to specifically for this type of match this type of uh, competition and this gun and caliber so just wanted to go over kind of what I have. I have to make sure I'm all ready to go. Of course, of course, the first thing is the rifle. Here's the sights. This is the um, this drops the block so that you can then load one shot at a time. And it's an octagon barrel. It's a very very expensive gun, but it's very accurate and. Uh, I can hit a I can hit a, a target about this big, a little steel um, chicken at 300 yards. Did it twice the last time I was doing I was uh, at the competition, and I'll go ahead and put my GoPro on. Like I said, I'll wear my GoPro during the match tomorrow, and you'll be able to see the sequence of events. And you have to really concentrate make sure you have muscle memory and you do everything as the same as possible so that you are consistent because it's all about accuracy and consistency and you if you want to change something you only change one thing at a time and see how that you know what the impact is so this is a lot of fun it's historical uh, this gun is a sharps model a lot of guys have high walls, which were uh, designed <clears throat> and built by John Browning back in the 1800s. They were very accurate guns as well. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's been a long time. So it's the first match that I will participate in the spring. Okay, stay tuned. All right, folks, this is your five minute side in period. Ready on the left. Ready on the right, all ready on the firing line, begin firing now. Hit the gong just barely. Okay. Four o'clock. Okay. We're ready on the left. We're ready on the right. Already on the firing line. You may commence firing now. Paper. Right. Eight ring, ten o'clock. 
Nice. Thank you kindly. It might not be a 10, depends on how the... Okay. You knocked the color out, but the blue... Okay. Didn't marry up to it. Anyway, you don't need to know that. Number three. First shot on the ram. Doing the ram first. Got him low in the belly, centered. Okay. Low in the belly, okay. Second shot, Ram. Okay. Okay. Next is silhouette. Did you call that a miss? Did I miss it? Yeah. You are two inches right over the top of yeah. his back. Oh. Right over the top. Okay. All right. Uh, silhouette. Second shot silhouette.
good hit. All right. Looks like I missed two steel. All right. This is this is the cider. So that was a good one. And then the silhouette hit four times. One, two, three, four. Ram hit four times. One, two, three, four. Then got a, got a 10x. All right. Happy with that shooting. Maybe an X. You'll have to check it when you go down. Hey YouTube, uh, just wanted to show you the uh, Sharps uh, 1873 single shot cartridge rifle that I use for the competition. And this is a, a hobby I have. It's a really fun. It's basically based on if you saw it quickly down under. Uh, this rifle is very similar to what he used. Uh, it's a Sharps action. And you can see the, the breech. It, you load a shell into the breech one at a time. And you close the block. There is a set trigger. It's back here. It makes the front trigger, so I just set it, it makes the front trigger very, very hair. It just barely, barely touch it. And that helps in accuracy. So it's a very heavy, large gun, rifle, and it's for long range shooting. It's a 4570 caliber. 4570 cartridge. These are Winchester brass and casting. I casted my own bullets. So uh, I did pretty well last weekend. It was a lot of fun. So I'll just go ahead and show you the accoutrements, all the stuff that you need to be able to do this type of sport. So, uh, of course, I have a box here that it, it helps to have everything in the box so that you don't forget anything because that's the worst thing in the world is to forget uh, during a competition. So, got gun oil right here. Uh, we've got cleaning CLP right there. You got plenty of patches. These are great patches. Their Arsenal brand. Um, let's see what else. Um, we've got, of course, the book. Anytime I go out, I know where I was. 
Let's see if that focuses. It's not going to focus. All right, so it tells where I was, the distances that I shot, and the setting on the sight. This is a little uh, patch container, and what I do is I put in ballastol into the container here, and then I put some water in there, and then I soak the patches. And you'll see in the video during the competition, I have to run a patch down after every shot. Ear protection, hearing protection, little, uh, this is a <clears throat> tool set for um, armorers. Of course you have, to, you have to have your loaded ammunition. And there's, this is a, this is a decapper. It basically, once you've shot the cartridge, you can uh, eject the primer out of the cartridge, the bottom of the cartridge. Okay, this is a little wiping brush for the, for the breech right here, just to keep it clean. If, it, if there's buildup, black powder has a lot of buildup. This is a, the big wiping rod right here. And it's, you can tell it's just very, very long. It has to go all the way through the barrel. That's where you push a patch through. Okay. Let's see. This is the loading block. Uh, in a lot of competitions that we do, it's, there's 15 shots per round. And that is really nice because it's already uh, ready for you, what you're going to shoot in the competition. These are um, cross sticks and basically it, it just, ugh. you loosen this and these sticks go up and you set it at whatever height and you lay your barrel across there and that helps. That's all legal for this competition for you to have cross sticks because that's how they used to hunt in the old days with cross sticks. Of course, <clears throat> put some uh, dishwashing detergent and water in this little bucket here and you can see these are soaking and it, it gets, you know, it, it, it enables you to get most of the gunk off and then the final, uh, in the final cleaning will be done in that green shaker that has some walnut shell media in it and I'll make it nice and shiny ready for the next reload so <clears throat> basically that's that's it and it's very fun I encourage all of you to take up a good sport like this <clears throat> you're able to reload your own cartridges and you know, be a little scientific about it in terms of how much powder, um, what kind of bullet, you know, making sure you're very consistent. It's very fun. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Signing off for now.